That's right. Yeah. The hair flip and everything. Che see cheetah print. Okay. That's, all right. That's the secret snake tech they don't want you to know. That's right. It's it's not uh it's not about your tech. It's about your fashion. But anyway, Bobo taking a fashionable 15% off the start. Yeah, but was what was pretty neat about it is Palu hit that first nair, which usually leads into 20 more nairs. But at the start of the game, Bobo dropping a grenade on the platform completely deterred uh, Jen from taking that route. Well, that's the important thing in this matchup is that you cannot be afraid to take these grenade kill, uh, these grenade trades. Yeah. But he has to always approach from behind because if he approaches from the front, it's going to happen where that uh, neutral area is going to drop out of the hands and uh, make those nairs pretty safe. Some, some a little crispy there from Bobo, but not following up enough for it to be super crispy and getting caught by that up air. And Oof. this is what makes this matchup a little bit hard. It's those up airs from Palutena because a lot of snakes will often uh -oh. like go very high. Ooh, dude, that cipher deleted. Yeah, but Bobo's still living. If you're Jen, you're going to take these trades with a uh, grenade in hand from Bobo. Oh, never mind. But you oh, just wow. can't go too high a snake, so you got to recover at least horizontally or even low. And those are still pretty hard. Bobo's yeah. just going to have a hard time recovering back to stage if he can't keep control. Yeah. Oh, but controlling with that up tilt, finding the kill on Jen. But Bobo still finds himself at 84, now 99. Just missed that back air. Uh oh. All right, manages to just kind of fade back to the right, just setting up the grenades, rolls away. Okay, low profiles, the forward air. And the C4 is still there on the platform. He's not going to try popping that. He just needs to get back. <laughs> Grenade uh, actually not helping him here. Ooh. Oh. oh. Oh, my God. The second C4. All right, Nikita. No, instead of setting up there with the little grenade. Finds a high recovery from Jen. Opting not to go for it again, Bobo. Given everything he had at ledge, but Jen just getting up and grabbing. The old classic. Look. You can throw out everything you have, but you're still getting grabbed. Yeah, and you know what? Jen looks so good doing that. It's like he just reads it. He's like, oh, you're going to be here. I'm going to throw you back. And, and look at that. Even even stocks. Yeah, Jen off to amazing start this game. And you blink, and all of a sudden, it's an even game. His snake just racks on damage like it's nobody's business. Uh-oh. And Jen's just really good at punishing. I mean, look at this. 44%. And Bobo just has to recover really high and putting him in a juggle situation. <laughs> but right now, Justin JPEG saying hi. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, thank you, Justin JPEG. Woo! Oh my gosh, low profile. Oh, he got the sticky! This is big, this is big, but you know what? Train the sticky. It's back on to Bobo. Uh oh. But you know what? Now we do have up. that 20 second timer. <laughs> All right, it's back on Jen. This is going to be really big. Oh my oh, gosh. Uh -oh. Not too much off of there, but we do have nice pressure there. Tries to get another sticky on the platform. Doesn't quite happen. Instead, yeah. using those grenades, trying to create space. Oh. What good damage. Oh, has to recover high though, and that's where the supper is going to come into play. Nothing there. Rolls into it, clashes. Yeah, playing a game with those forward tilts on shield. Down throw back air, not going to hit. When panicking, it looks like Bobo is just kind of going for the dash attack. Usually safe, but not against Palu just because of this uh, shield. Yeah, all the grenades are coming out. Bobo opting not to build his house and instead play a little bit offensively here. Oh, okay. Oh! All right. I can't believe that killed. <laughs> I don't think Jen believed it either. He just kind of looks into the camera like, what? And, and Bobo was like, oh, yeah. yeah, calculated. Yep, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I knew he was going high. I knew he was going high. You didn't do it once that game, so no. it was about time. All right, looks like Battlefield and Kalos are off the table. Looks where like do you think we're going to go back? Um, did, we see where they, did you see where they picked? Knowing Jen, it's running back. We're running it back? Okay, PS2 it is. Look, it's a big stage. You got some great platforms. Yeah. This is a wonderful snake, it's a snake stage. Yeah, surely there's like a better place to take snake. I want to see more stages get picked. He does pretty well on any stage. Uh, yeah, I mean, generally, stages that you want to play, take uh, snake to are like stages that you can juggle. So like, for example, uh, Bobo actually got rid of Battlefield and Kalos, right? Leaving open FD. What, like historically, FD has always been like kind of a not great stage for Snake. But you know, like the difference between like Brawl in this game, and I say historically, I do mean Brawl just because like I'm a little bit like, yeah, yeah. But like historically, like it's normally not too good for him. But he does have like some better like aerial options, which can be pretty good, especially for his juggle game, right? But Ooh. if you're able to get that juggle then on him, then there's not too much he can do. I've heard that it depends on the snake player. Because, like, you have your snakes that are hyper-aggressive, like Hurt, 
and then you have your snakes that are a lot more projectile based getting that house up and those uh, those things like hurt like smaller stages like small battlefield like uh, Smashville, Hollow Bastion. Yeah, if right? you're able to like, if like, so something that hurt does that makes him move like water, and <laughs> and this is like this this transcends both ultimate hand brawl. Uh, when you're doing like so many bigger verses with with grenade or or just like a lot of your other moves, um, it just makes it so much harder to juggle the character because like you maintain your momentum and you just like completely reverse into the other direction, and so like uh, stages. That are like you want to juggle him for it's just like it becomes really hard because he has like that option to do it. But that's the beauty of the character is that you just have so many ways to play him. You can play him hyper aggressive. You can play him defensively, or you know you can move like molasses or like water. <laughs> and right now Bobo's moving like something because moving Jack, like a snake. Yeah. Yes. Snakes oh. hiss, right? Snakes, yeah, snakes uh, hiss. Absolutely. Come on, that's preschool, Swiss. <laughs> Listen, I failed preschool twice, all right? Wow. Yeah. Uh-oh. Up B finds him into the tech scenario. Bobo not finding the answer, though. Jenna, 154, and against Snake, you're cooked if you get hit by anything, except maybe a grenade. Uh-oh. Ooh, good B reverse Z drop on the grenade, it looked like, into the dash attack. Uh-oh. All right, uh -oh. going high, but these up airs. Okay. Manages to get on the platform, oh. misses it. It does hit from behind, but you know what? The C4 hits from right beneath your feet. Oh my gosh, and the up air not enough to take Snake out of Cypher. Jen trying to find this kill desperately, throwing out the up airs and the up smash, nothing finding. Uh oh. Yeah, once Snake is in that Cypher, he does have just a little bit of armor. So if it is the weak hit or you just don't have enough rage, he's gonna live. Oh, oh my, my gosh. god. Oh, he's going high. Where's he going? Jen trying his best to cook right now, but Bobo doing a good job going up high, trying to play around these kill options the best he can. Oh, he's going low. Not racking up any damage himself. Okay, lands with Here a few reverse. Oh, oh my, my god. god! No! Okay, it's fine. It's all right. That 20% was really good. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> for real. All right, Cypher's like, coming oh! up. Oh, and he's going straight into the up smash. The top of the light just clipping. Snake, don't go into the lights. And now we're looking at a pretty even game when it was incredibly Bobo sided. He was up almost a stock early game. Uh oh, the Nair train's coming out, but broken up by the grenade. And now Bobo going on a vacation to the top of the map. Oh, I hope he liked it. I think the weather's pretty good up there this time of season. Yeah, absolutely. Grenade in hand, Z drops it. Uh oh. I Looks like Jen is actually having a hard time trying to keep track of everything that Bobo's throwing out. Obviously a C4 right there, pretty good bait. Yeah, just, just even having that out there, even if you know where it is, just makes you move differently. Yeah, absolutely. And we see Bobo here switching to maybe a little bit more of a defensive play style to compare to what he was doing. And his own grenade almost blew, no, blew him up. If Jen up air there, the game would have been over. Calculated. Yeah, absolutely. Uh oh, all right. Managed to get out of that situation knowing that Jen has uh, been really good at getting those grabs at ledge. Wow, does a good job. Baits out the high recovery. And baits out that up tilt. Bobo moving on, taking a deep breath, being like that was so intense. Yeah, that was awesome by Bobo. He um, he up smashed, up smashed that ledge. Noticed like Jen, oh, Jen's about to recover high to try to get through this, mm -hmm. then hit the dash attack right here. Right. That was so Bam. big brain, so big brain. And he even waited just to see uh, exactly where he was, how far he was going to go. Yeah. I don't think he was like that confident being like, okay, you know what, if I miss it, whatever. Yeah. But if I hit it, great situation. Yeah, that was an awesome job by Bobo, who now goes to winner's finals against Carflow. Oh my god, best of luck. All right, so 